welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie, if you've not been here before, and thanks so much for watching this video. For today's video, I am screaming with excitement inside because I have probably one of my most favorite, if not my favorite, Revolve haul ever. 95% of these pieces I will probably be keeping in my closet forever closet staples, never getting rid of. So before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you have not already, hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload. If you guys enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I'd so appreciate that. Leave a comment down below letting me know what your favorite piece from this haul was. As always, I will definitely be sure to link all of these pieces down in the description box. My Instagram, TikTok, Poshmark, camera details, all that great stuff will also be linked down below. And with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the video. Starting with what's on my body because this is the most beautiful top and I swear the first time I saw it on the website I was like I need you you were so perfect and it sold out immediately so I have been stalking the Revolve website for the longest time just waiting pining please let this piece come back in stock it did and I jumped on it and I'm so glad I did because it is even more perfect in person it is this gorgeous cream ivory whatever you want to call it crocheted top and it's so freaking flattering and beautiful and i'm in love i wore it a ton of different times in laguna just like styled it different ways because i could not get enough of it like i just feel so confident and so cute in this thing and it is the perfect spring and summer piece I swear. So as you guys can see, it is this crocheted little top. It is actually like sheer, but I'm just wearing like pasties and no problem. Like you can't see anything. I love the straps. It's like the perfect length too. That's always something that I get nervous about when it's not an adjustable strap, whether they're just gonna be like way too long or way too short, perfect length on me. I love how it's like got some corset details to it with this drawstring type of detail here. It's got this cute little bow in the front as well. And then it just like flares out, flounces out so nicely at the bottom. I am in love. Like I have mentioned several times, I actually washed it for the first time a couple days ago and I was nervous. I am notorious for not like following directions when it comes to hand washing things. I just I can't be bothered. If it's like seriously something that's gonna be fully ruined in the washing machine, I will take the time out. I decided to chance it with this one, even though it's like my favorite top ever. Thankfully, I put it on a gentle cycle, lowest temperature possible. Sorry, I'm like going on a tangent, but all that to say, this top survived. I let it sit outside to dry, like just flat, and it's in perfect condition. So I just wanted to say that it washed well. There's nothing worse than when you get something that you're absolutely obsessed with, you throw it in the wash and it's ruined forever. So I just wanted to let you guys know this top survived the wash. It's definitely gonna be a piece that I keep in my closet forever, ever, ever. You might have already seen me mention this if you follow me on TikTok or Instagram or honestly on YouTube Shorts. I actually talked about them here too. If you, like me, are obsessed with vintage Levi's. I actually have a few different pairs. I have a pair of shorts that will, again, never leave my closet. And I also have a pair of vintage Levi's jeans that I am in love with. They have been in my closet for at least like five or six years now. They have holes all over the place, like one legitimately on the crotch that I had to patch up and it looks goofy. I still wear them because they're so comfortable. But ever since then, I have been trying, trying, trying to buy different Levi's and like, okay, is something like gonna be similar to these vintage Levi's? Why doesn't Levi's make jeans the way that they used to? Like I swear, everything's just like really stiff, the fit's like a little bit awkward. Every once in a while you find like a nice gem, but I swear I've just been looking for a pair of Levi's that feel and look vintage, especially light wash, light wash more than anything. Most of their light washes I've found in like the last several years have this like acid washy look to the denim and I just it's not for me not my vibe so when I saw these on the Revolve website I was like okay let's try these out I'm probably gonna get them probably gonna hate them no <laughs> I swear I could pick these up at the Goodwill fully thinking they are vintage because of the way they feel. This is the softest pair of denim I have ever held, put on in my life. They feel like sweatpants, but they still have enough stiffness to them where they don't just like look goofy. Personally, I don't love 
jeans that have a ton of stretch to them i like to have a little bit of rigidness to them because i just feel like they look a little bit more like jeans like i just don't want my jeans to not look like jeans if you catch my drift anyway i love the high rise on these these are the rib cage straight ankle and they actually have some stretch to them weirdly it says levi's performance like i'm not super familiar with this, but I'll just read you what the tag says so we can learn together. <laughs> it says a super high rise, slim throughout the hip and thigh, cool eco performance, engineered with breathable fiber to cool you down and wick away moisture. Hold the H2O, this garment was made using recycled water. Love that. Okay, so they're supposed to keep you cool somehow? I don't really care about that. I just care that they're really comfortable. This wash is literal perfection and they look so cute on. So I got these in a size 24. The length of the inseam is 27. And I will say, bizarrely, these fit me like a little bit big in the waist, but I refuse to size down. I think they fit just the way that I want them to. Slightly slouchy. And just so comfortable like i said they are an ankle length jean and do you see this wash i can literally like i'm obsessed i want like 18 more pairs of these because if i ever ruin these i would be so upset the wash is beautiful the straight leg is so flattering i swear these are a 15 out of 10 for me these are so freaking good I will scream it from the rooftops for the rest of my life. Like, you gotta get your hands on these. They are a classic staple forever and ever and ever. I'm gonna be skipping around a little bit because I just like to start with the things that I love the most. But look at this bag. This was another thing that I saw on the Revolve website and I immediately was like, I have to have that. I actually didn't purchase it immediately. Most of the time when it comes to like an investment piece, because this was a little bit pricier, I have to go back to it and stare at it several times. The other thing that I will do is I will look, <laughs> um, you guys, the way I shop is a little bit psychopathic. I also like to look at a photograph of the piece on other websites because, and this is just the way my brain thinks, all these different retailers that sell popular items, they use different cameras, different lighting, different models when they're shooting the actual product. So I want to see you know, a variety. What does this look like? Sometimes you'll see something on a website and you're just like, that looks nothing like what it looks like in person. So I like to do my research. I stared at this bag probably for a week on all these different websites. I kept going back to Revolve to stare at it. And finally I was like, you know what? It's my birthday, which it was earlier this month. I'm picking up this bag. Hopefully I like it. Turns out, I'm obsessed. It's the only bag I ever want to wear ever again. It is from Rag and & Bone and it is their Spire Hobo and I swear it is the coolest hobo bag in the world. I love everything about this bag. The details are so sick. First things first, this leather strap is just such a cool edgy vibe the mix with the straw crochet it's just so sick i love the play on hard with soft with these amazing metal details and just the softness of the crochet detail it's the perfect spring summer bag i love how big it is too it's got a nice big pocket in the middle and then it also has a smaller pocket as well it zips too which is just great keeps everything nice and secure and the strap is adjustable, which is amazing because you can wear it as a crossbody. You can wear it as a shoulder bag. I wore this thing nonstop when I went on my trip to Laguna, literally. I had just bought a vintage Bottega bag and I chose this over the Bottega bag every single time because it's perfect. Like I cannot get enough of this thing. If the straw vibe is not your thing, they also sell this bag in all black leather as well as all like white or ivory leather as well. The black has the silver hardware, but the white variation has gold hardware on it, but I'm obsessed. I think it's perfect. And I got a ton of compliments on this thing when I was in Laguna too, which always feels good. These, I have been scouring the internet for the longest time and honestly, I just kind of gave up at some point because I was like, I'm not gonna pay double the retail price for a stupid pair of sneakers that are not stupid, they're really cool. I was browsing the Revolve website as I do every single morning, it's a problem, but I love window shopping on the internet. Anyway, I saw these Scarlet Gazelles and I was like, no way. 
When I saw them, I was like, there's no way my size is actually in stock. Clicked on the page and I was like, no way, no way, no way. Technically, I wear a five and a half in men's shoes from Adidas. The smallest size they had in these was a six. And I was like, I don't care. I'm going to buy them and I'm going to figure out a way to make them work because these Sneakers are so beautiful. I love the vibrant red color. If you've been around here for a while, you will know I have an addiction to red at the moment. Usually I'm so boring with my sneakers. It's like white or black for me. And I wanted something different. So I got them in the mail and I actually like did a bunch of research beforehand. Like how can I make shoes that are a little too big, a bit smaller? I bought all these inserts and I bought these like toe things that you can put at the bottom of your shoe to make them smaller. Turns out I tried them on and they really weren't that big on me. And I found this video on TikTok where it shows like a different way. It's like a bunny ear tying method for your shoelaces where it allows you to tie it a little bit tighter at the last like two holes here. And these do not slip off my feet at all. They fit perfectly now. I didn't need these special inserts or like the ankle things or the toe thing. I sent it all back and I am obsessed. They're so cute. They're super comfortable on too. I've never owned a pair of gazelles. If you've been around here, once again, you'll know I own several pair of Sambas and I wear them constantly. So I was super excited to get my hands on a pair of gazelles and I was also equally excited that they were just as comfortable, if not a little bit more comfortable than the Sambas. Anyway, over the moon about these, I'm obsessed. The other pair of shoes that I picked up from Evolve that I truly didn't know I was going to end up loving as much as I do are these cute little Mary Jane flats. They are this beautiful bone color with a black elastic strap across which I wasn't sure how it was gonna feel about the black strap. I was just like, why can't it just be the same exact bone color? But I actually love that detail. I feel like it modernizes the flat in a really sophisticated way. They're super comfortable as well. I wore these a bunch on my trip in Laguna and I loved walking around in them, did not have any blisters or anything. The leather on the inside is super soft, so I didn't have any issues. They're obviously like a flat shoe, so like, the inside of them it's not like you have like some super comfy insole but that doesn't really bother me i'm not trying to walk around disneyland in these anyway i think they're just such a beautiful classic shoe that definitely elevates an outfit makes your outfit look a little more chic as well i think they are so beautiful and i know these come in an all black leather as well i saw this set on the revolve website and i really wanted to try it out it is this cute little micro crop top and I am so obsessed. It just like reads vintage cottage core vibes. I love black and white. And I just thought it was so precious. I was a little bit nervous when there's like no adjusting really that you can do. Like, please let this fit. It fit perfect. The one thing I will say that is kind of annoying, but at the same time, like I get it and I will sacrifice the annoyance that I feel for it because it's just so cute. The only way to get this thing on and off is unbuttoning the four little dainty buttons here and untying these little bows. So that's kind of frustrating. It's not like an easy like zipper in the side or like a hook and eye or something situation. But what I will say is those types of details like a zipper in the side that always takes away a little bit from the top being beautiful. This is like a piece of art, you know? Fashion is meant to be art. So having like a hidden zipper sometimes just takes that illusion away. So I'm not upset about it. It's definitely not a top that I would wear out going shopping or something where I know I'm gonna have to take this thing off a million times. Like that would just drive me absolutely nuts. But anyway, it's such a gorgeous top. And I actually am so glad I ended up picking up the matching skirt because it looks so cute together. It is this maxi skirt, midi skirt. Uh, it's pretty much maxi skirt on me anyway. And it has the most fabric, the most. Like I can't even show you the whole thing because it's got so much fabric. Really, really stretchy waistband, which I love because you could totally slouch it down and wear it as like a low rise, mid rise or high rise. It's like the perfect amount of elastic 
Also has pockets, which I think is such a cute little detail. And I just love the design of the skirt. I think it is so cute. I also think it would look really, really cute with just a simple white baby tee. Like there are so many different ways you could style this piece. Same with this one. You definitely don't have to wear them together, but together it is just magic. Like I'm living my Italian summer fantasy in that look together. So with that being said, Brian needs to take me to Italy. If you saw my birthday photo post, real short TikTok, all the tings, you would have already seen this dress, but <laughs> it's worth being mentioned again because holy crap, like I don't know that I have ever loved a dress more than this one. It is the most me dress like ever. Truly ever. Reason number one being it is black and white, which are my colors. I know I said I've been having a moment with red, but black and white always has been and always will be me. <laughs> Reason number two, it is the most beautiful silhouette in the whole wide world. Like if this dress in this exact silhouette came in like 10 different colors, I'd probably buy them all because it is so freaking flattering on. The neckline here just like drapes so gorgeously. I love the straps because they are adjustable and they are my favorite type of adjustable strap because you tie them here in like a little bow or whatever kind of tying you want to do. So it just makes it so much more like feminine and girly. It is a full length dress and it's got the most beautiful like flowing ruffle details down at the bottom. It's got this kind of like high-low situation on the sides here. I cannot say enough things about this dress. I think it is just so beautiful. Like I need to go to a wedding so I can wear this thing. It's okay to wear white polka dots to a wedding, right? As long as the rest of the dress is black. Let me know your thoughts. Anyway, it does have a zipper in the back as well as a hook and eye. And the other fun thing about this dress is it comes with this very, very long scarf that you can wear so many different ways. Like obviously you don't even need to wear this with the dress. You could wear the scarf alone in some way, but you could just drape it off the shoulders like so, do some kind of wrapping situation, throw it up in your hair, attach it to your purse somehow. The options are endless and I just think the style is so effortless and so beautiful. And I mean, like, can you tell? I'm obsessed. I don't know if I've ever clicked purchase so quickly with this swimsuit. Like, are you kidding me? This is a little swimmy from Lovers and Friends. <laughs> this top looks teeny tiny when I'm just holding it up, but I swear it fits me. Anyway, it is so cute. It is a strapless bathing suit and it's got the cutest little tool rosette in the middle here. It's precious oh, I love and it actually does come with a strap that you can wear as like a halter strap if you're not interested and in, you know the strapless situation but it's so cute on I love the bottoms too they are high-waisted with a matching little red rosette in the middle here super comfy on and extremely flattering it is like slightly cheeky but I feel like it's the perfect amount of like cheeky coverage for me so I'm obsessed it's such a cute little suit I've washed this twice already Already and it came out just fine so just a heads up on that the last clothing piece that I have to show you is this stunning red cardigan are you surprised it's red anyway I love this thing this is another piece that I've had my eye on for a little while and finally I was like okay it's time let's pick it up and it is perfect I wore this piece a ton on my lacuna trip as well it's just such a stunning color like a very rich cherry red got the cutest little buttons down the front as well. They're kind of like a gray marble. So cute. Anyway, this cardigan is nice and oversized and it just looks so pretty on. You can leave it buttoned up or obviously wear a top underneath and have it unbuttoned. So cute and a really nice weight as well. And the last couple items are actually a couple of accessories hair accessories. I've been collecting claw clips quite a bit lately and I just had to have these because I thought they were so cute and would add so much to a very simple outfit. First we have this little cherry clip which is just precious. For starters, these claw clips are definitely not going to hold all of my hair 
for sure more of like a half up half down type of situation but i just thought this little cherry claw clip was so cute and then the other one that i got was this little daisy claw clip again just so dainty so precious extremely feminine very girly perfect for those bad hair days which i have them pretty often and a hair accessory just always makes those bad hair days feel more intentional so anyway so cute. All right, you guys, that is it. I really hope you guys enjoyed this Revolve haul. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. I'd so appreciate that. Leave a comment down below letting me know what your favorite piece from this haul was. As always, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!